see you guys tonight. I am Steve, and I am honored, as always, to be your host for Rangers Stop and Pop, and our panels are going to be super exciting this year. And we have a supercharged Red Ranger panel to get things kicked off. Who's excited? I see a lot of red out there, and I see a lot of Red Rangers as well, uh, both in the audience and in the back of the room, ready to make their introduction. So, in no chronological order whatsoever, Please welcome Roy Travis! Fury, Hunter Dino! Good to see you. Welcome. You if you can tell what some of the other Red Ranger costumes are, and I'm pretty sure Brendan's going to win this. And uh, when, when we, uh, let's see if the buttons are, uh, probably not if you can't do it. Isn't this how it always goes? I feel like every time we're together, we have an equipment malfunction. I don't, I don't understand. Yeah. I don't want to play anyway. That's it, exactly. Uh, we're going to play cast the mic. Just sit, just we're going to share it. So we're doing T-shirts. Oh, here's another one. Yeah. Maybe, maybe this works. Now. Awesome. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Chris over here, hold up a Red Ranger, and he's going to show it to the audience and then to the team and see if they can tell you what season or actor that character is. Wait, are we actually doing teams? Oh, I we, know. Uh, no, that's one by one. That's actually not the right side. You guys can't see the right one yet because oh. they're double-sided because it's terrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not, All right, there oh. we go. The audience is seeing the character now, and now oh. show it to these guys. Oh, wow. Look at Hunter's face. He's like, yeah, that's a power <laughs> ranger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ladies first? No. Anybody? Yeah, ladies first. Oh my god. Oh. I don't want to be on your team anymore. He's a new dad, okay? She's the, yeah, congratulations, by the way. Oh, cool, yeah. yeah. To a baby, not just cats. Not just cats, cats, too. But cats are great. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Russell, did you get the light speed rescue thing? Or whatever this is? <laughs> I knew that Brennan knew the show. Brennan was a fan of the Power Rangers for many years before uh, finally making it on the show. So congratulations on both things. Yeah, very, very cool. Maybe I should just like not be in this game. You can be in the game, dude. Get your head. Uh, uh, Troy Bolton. Yeah, that's where I went. Yeah, you were there for it. Right? Cool, 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 cool. I really could be an actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're picking it up. All right, Chris, show us the next Red Ranger. Ooh, yeah. I know this one. He's a good one. They're all good ones. Okay, That's yeah. what the Red Ranger is. He or she is always a good one. I know this one too, but I just so feel for like the it's not fair if I can't yeah. be able to. I'm just gonna like not. I'm just kidding. Well, we won the last just one. Just so pick it. Are we a team? I'm not a team ever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's good. Yeah, scratch me. Do you want to say, Russ? <clears throat> in space. Power Rangers in space is correct. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm really proud of you for that one, man. Did you did you watch Power Rangers in Space? I did not watch Power Rangers in Space. But started on Wild Force. Wild Force. Yeah! 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 Same here. Woo! All right, let's see the next Red Ranger. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, ho, 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 him. That's right. I know this one. Yeah. What do we think? Galaxy. Boss. Galaxy. Oh! Just didn't pick it up. The mic, the mic, it dropped out. It dropped out again. Right, so it's like, yeah. Galaxy. These right. microphones are terrible. Right. It's accurate. You, you were there, right? I saw the whole thing. Yeah. That's it. Uh -huh. Did you believe that? Yeah, I think I heard it. That's it. Wait a minute. It was lost. Yeah, it was definitely lost. Yeah. All right, who's next? Oh, that's my man right there. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
I'm gonna. Well, oh, no, it's technically. Okay, I'll May I just give May I just give props to the first? You know, since since I'm up here with my brother right now. Woo. The first African American Red Ranger, Selwyn Moore. Yes. Woo. 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 Yeah. We got it. Absolutely. Selwyn Moore, Power Rangers Turbo. That's him in the costume. <laughs> Good, good job, guys. Good job. Or as you might say, coo coo coolio. Yeah. You don't, do you ever say that in real life? Because it was kind of dumb at the time, but it's kind of funny. No, no, no. I said, excuse me. It was very cool, cool, coolio at the time. And it's cool, cool, coolio now. But no, I never say it in real life. <laughs> All right, we got a couple more Red Rangers. This one might be a tough one. Oh, I know this one. That's easy. Oh, you know it? Easy. I do. Okay. Alien Rangers. Mm -hmm. Yeah! It's, uh, it's apt that you were choking on water to get the answer out. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, Aquatar. That's the one. Well played. Well played. How many more do we have? Two? Two. Yeah. Excellent. We're almost done. Not All enough right. for them to catch up. Well. It's every one of these answers. I just want you to know that. It's true. All right, go on. <laughs> Not that I'm biased towards the team here. It sounds like it. Oh, I know this oh. one. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. I know who that is. That's oh, Bridge yeah. from Operation Overdrive. Boom. Nope. Don't <laughs> 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 Yes. What you? Yes. yes. The one. Um, make sure you. Woo! Yes. 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 But which one? Hey, hey. That's fair. Which which the SPD red? Right? Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> is it original red? Is it Jack or is it? Jack Landers. Okay. Jack Landers is a good enough answer. Jack Landers. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah. Yo, yo, yo. I heard her say it. Yo, I didn't even see it. Introduce. Ladies and gentlemen, Kelson Henderson! All right, another Red Ranger to the team. Not just a Red Ranger, though, but so many other really cool characters they hope we get to talk about in a minute, too. So that's it. We're seeing Red here. Right. Reinforcements from the future. All right, so the SPD one goes to Hunter. Thank you. Well, yes. And Brennan. It's a team. And the team. Yeah, there's no high-end team. Yeah, that's it. He's winning. Yeah, yeah. Our last Power Ranger on this game, right, is that character right there. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, time for Time for Yeah! Woohoo! Yes! Oh, All right, it sounds like the Power Ranger. is my favorite. So it yeah. did sound like the Power Ranger family. Is that, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking, Fred? Because it matters. How old am I? In the Power Rangers. I'm so offended. In the Power Rangers. <laughs> 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 you never ask the lady her age. Did you hear that? No, oh, that's true. I'm sorry. That's okay. How old do, how old do I look? 26. I 28. I appreciate it. I don't know. Yeah. 74. I <laughs> uh, <laughs> not to make me feel humble. Oh, man, yeah. At least I went super duper high, so it's unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> super duper high. Uh, I'm 33. Oh, well played. 33? <laughs> nice. Good, man. Oh, man. Yeah. I don't remember what the point was, but being that age. Like, <laughs> it's like, it, which Mighty Morphin, you know, it would be like Mighty Morphin. It's like, it's like some people, it's like, that, you know, Batman is Michael Keaton if you're a certain age, and it's, it's not my, it's, you know, the next guy down the line. So that's why, you, that's why your jam is. What was your power? I mean, TV show. I like Time Force. That was your one, and so that was like, yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I grew up on Mighty Morphin. Yeah. <laughs> Time Force is my favorite season. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not counting my own. Cool. What's yours, Hunter? Cosmic Fury? It would be, I would think. <laughs> it's a good choice. Oh, man. It's a great show. It is a great show. I can't deny you that. Know, great. Great fact. Now, I feel really bad. You know what? Okay. Yeah. I, just want, I just want to say something real quick. So, Dino Charge yeah. has had a representative in every season since Dino Charge. There's been at least a Dino Charge Ranger in every season making an appearance. And Ninja uh, Steel, Yoshi showed up. Mm -hmm. And Beast Morphers, I showed up, and mm -hmm. a lot of other ones. And then in yours, we had the Dark Ranger couple. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, you think about that. Mic drop. Wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes? Yeah. Right. Mic drop, gently. Wait, 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 wait. Who, who? This one doesn't work. Showed up. In, <laughs> that was in Dino, that was in Cosmic Fury, but what about Dino Fury? Okay, your super season is like the same thing, bro. Uh, <laughs> 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 we got two, I can be a true. I just see the same cast. 
it's, it's a continuation of the show. So Dan O'Keefe and Cosmic Fury, like you're all still the same cast. Correct, but we're different Rangers because we have different. Yeah, I still count you guys as He's glad he only got the one season. That's it. You know. He got super. Yeah. I did, but I did come back and beast more first, okay? okay? I know. So, you know? I wish I could. So, I wish we could go back to our yeah. so I get yeah. it. Yeah. So get you it. wanted to come in back and be Pink Ranger, so it could be like... I would rock Pink Ranger. That would be good. Yeah, that'd be down. They're so well with my yeah. skin tone. They look good. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I have my suit. You could just get it. I would. Yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, no. You're in Hunter's suit. That sounds Twice like the price done. of whatever she normally does. It sounds like a joke. And I made her double it. Sounds like a joke. It's 7 o'clock at Yeah, where's that at? I'd buy that. Well, I'll be there. I'd buy that for a few dollars. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, guys. Well, we'll I, this is fun. Oh, God, that's great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're not going to put a microphone in front of Kelsey for a while. We'll just go on. The words coming out of his mouth. Ken is there. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a Power Rangers Operation Overdrive. <laughs> Um, I tell you, it's probably technically not working. Uh, but if it does work, that's great. Oh, there's one there. There's no one down there. That's an imagination microphone. Those are fun. But it's neat. Uh, welcome. Oh, Hello. Hunter. Oh, right. Hunter's got that one back in action. You just had to turn it off and back on. Just takes being the team leader. Right? That's why you fixed it. That's what Brad Brady was doing. That's it. That's what it's cool, guys. All right, cool, 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 cool. Now that we're all in place here, we've got everybody there. Uh, James, welcome to you. We are very lucky to have you. We don't see you at too many conventions. Yeah. Is this on? Yeah, it's on. We can hear you out there. Yeah, it's technology. Sorry, I'm late. Come on, we're just glad you're here at all. Thanks for joining us, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how's life been since uh, the last convention that you've It's just been yeah. downhill, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, it's been fantastic. Excellent, yeah. Yeah, this show's amazing. Life's just been a blessing ever since. I'm glad they know that. I'm really glad they know that. That's what we want here. I mean, that's what you want to have a good experience. Woohoo! Wow, yeah. We don't get a lot of Operation Overdrive representation at these shows anymore. Like, it's very nice to see you. It's really fun. And... Well, yeah, I mean, come on. We're going to get to that. <laughs> no, I felt bad. I felt bad because, you guys, we were taking the photo ops, and I'm, I'm talking to everybody. da 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 Thank you. Da 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 da. Hey, Austin. Oh, Brennan. Oh, Russell. Hunter. Oh, that's right. You didn't know he was. I saw that. I've, I've been to this Hunter. one. I've been to that, like, three times. And I'm like, dude, I'm sorry. Which, which, which ranger are you? Like, I'm the Red Ranger. I'm like, I know you're the Red Ranger because you're here with us, but which, which one are you? And I felt terrible. No, 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 you, you have to be honest. honest. You were like, hey, man, thanks for taking the photo with us. Oh, right, 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 right. <laughs> I didn't know it was a Red Ranger to I really didn't know. I thought he was a guy who was supposed to take a picture with us. And I was like, thanks for taking the photo with me, mate. Yeah. <laughs> and then I asked you guys, okay, am I confused? Yes. <laughs> and then it kind of left it alone, and I was like, okay, 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 I'll just be the confused guy. Ah, um, right on. Oh. Great introduction. <laughs> first introduction. That was perfect, though. You never know how to show the first meeting, meeting. Hey. <laughs> That's how it happens in power. There's a thousand rangers, so you have to be forgiven occasionally. Name all of them right now. If anyone could, it's him. I know, he would too. Name him backwards. He would have a song. He would. I can. Chronologically backwards. That's a lot of pressure. That would be a lot of pressure. But speaking of Operation Overdrive, I want to talk to you, Kelson. It's so cool to have you here. You were in Operation Overdrive as Nord, which was incredibly fun. Wow. Wow. I should have asked you how old you are, man. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Well, it is. There is. Well, okay. Or jokes. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's fair, too. Yeah. But, <laughs> but Operation Overdrive, but, but not just, just that. You were a big character in so many different amazing roles during that entire Disney era yeah. of the Power Rangers. And flip the fly on um, the beginning. I'll fall away from your arm. Oh. Can, oh. oh. Uh, can I? You started like it after the Dino Thunder, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, it was Eddie. I gave him a last name. I think he was just called Eddie in the script, but I called him Eddie Tone, so I thought it was a good last name for a music producer. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, Validate uh, your friends. Yeah. It, it is. That's why we, we <laughs> each other up. Uh, and then uh, I didn't give Boom. I should have given Boom. 
Um, Mikhail Bertner. Uh, Boom Studios. Uh, it. it was very busy after his time at SPD. Um, uh, Boom, and then I guess it would be Phineas next. Yes. Um, uh, and then there was an Alvin King, uh, I think I played in that season. Just, just so I could have a mullet. That was kind of cool. um, and then uh, the Nord, which is short for no. Flit the Fly, oh, yeah. uh, and then I think I had a little bit of a break doing some uh, monster voices, um, and came back with, uh, it was Mick first, wasn't it? Came back with Mick, and then Cruz. Um, yeah, my Hi, Steve! Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Cardenas, come on! Spot for me over there. Okay, I'll let that. No room for me. Okay, we'll make a room for you. There's always room for you. Okay. I don't know how comfortable I know. Hi. Yes. That's how I am. So fit in here. It's all right here. That's great. Howdy. Hello. So it's probably Boom, who's the closest to me. Well, because you know, yeah. Stuff yeah. Too, but, yeah. but also it's just, just kind of a little bit accident prone and uh, wide eyed and well wishing. Um, yeah. Not bad. Not, not a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's keep it in this neck of woods. Uh, Brennan, uh, while you were here talking about Dino Charge, just a little bit, um, you, you're always prone to make return to the and of course you're season and then it's not the question of, oh, would, would you come, come back? back? Anyone would come back or a position of that type if they had the opportunity to and schedule was right. My question would be, if you had crafted any type of story, what would it be? Because you're the, the fan of this type of thing. So I'm just going to default to a convention panel that I did with Christopher Kamen Lee, the Red and Space Ranger. Him and I were asked this, basically, like, what are you guys doing? Like, what are your characters doing after your season? And he decided that he was going to be a Sith Lord that was conquering the galaxy or something. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, well, Tyler's going to use the Energems and travel back in time and recruit a team of Tylers to fight the Sith Lord. So that's where we left it. It's so, all you throughout time. Like, oh, yeah, there's a 12 of them. We actually came up with a number, too. Yeah, yeah. But you're just, like, a couple of months apart. Yeah. Each from each other. Yeah. yeah, all in our prime. <laughs> 27, <laughs> right? 27. <laughs> I think that's a fun story, though. Yeah. It's cool enough. It's cool, cool enough. He's like, it's okay. I expected more. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's, that's a pretty good story. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to keep going that line so we can get everybody to talk. And I'm pulling with you, Steve, because you're like the OG. Right? Yeah. So, Hunter, you're in a pretty unique position as one of the coolest characters to transition uh, the color, but also to become the team leader like that. And the way your character did it on screen was very believable as far as I'm concerned. Oh, you, like, it was, and then you like, beat now that we're almost like, how did you, Hunter, feel about being the Red Ranger, though? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all. Uh, well, I knew I had very big shoes to fill with the color, and then I also had like very big shoes to fill like going after him. So I was really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already emotional. I'll cry like this. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's definitely an honor. I feel like I still don't even really. She was most excited about the raise that she got. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. That does not correlate with uh, that. I wish. It's <laughs> in my contract. Um, I, um, I don't know. It, it's been great. I mean, I like. I feel like I actually did have a moment that Amelia had, where she was like, "Are you sure? Like, you're good with this?" I feel like I was like, to Simon, I was like, "Are you sure you're good with this?" <laughs> Me. Um, Duh. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
a good choice. It's a good choice, Hunter. It's cool. I don't know. I'm glad. It's, I don't know. I feel like I'm still speechless, but I don't have much to say about it. Well, it's okay. That's a good reaction. It makes you care about it. It's really awesome. And, uh... So for, so for you, though, how unique was it? I mean, you also had to change uh, into a new uniform and a, a whole new version of a character, basically, throughout that story arc. Um, and since I don't really want to ask you the same ranger color question, I do, uh, when the show was Netflix produced, did it feel different in any way that you can elaborate on? You can elaborate on. Uh, <laughs> you can elaborate on. <laughs> it's all. Yeah. So, it's a, it's a, um, this is very technical, but like, the production still remained the same production company, but it was distributed exclusively through Netflix versus just being like half through Nickelodeon and then half through Netflix. So it was still exactly the same, um, in all, in like most respects. But coming back, we, um, we did get to hang out with David Yost on set every day, which as a kid who grew up on Mighty Morphin, like that was, that was a dream. Um, got to hang out with uh, with Steve and, and a lot of the, and the other cast from Once and Always because they were finishing shooting that when we were right about to begin shooting Cosmic Fury. So just those kind of things were really cool, just those differences in, in how we did things. Just a quick yeah. fun fact because my brain goes everywhere. Um, Steve and I actually wear the same shoes. <laughs> I don't know that answer. But actually, I don't know if that's true. So they were the white high top? With the, yeah, with the red on the heel. Oh, okay. So like, did you steal yours as well? No, I did not. I did not. They weren't comfortable. Mine weren't comfortable. They weren't comfortable. Why take it if you don't? Steve was like, I want her shoes. I'll sign them for you. Oh, okay. No, I also, Russell, uh, so how did it feel for, at what point did you know that you were going to become a Morphe Master? And how did you feel when you realized that that was going to be um, a change in your story? Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, I thought it was really cool. Um, when did I find out? Was that when we had that call with Simon? Did we talk about that on that day? I don't think so. I think it might have been when we were actually there. I think it was when we were there. Yeah. yeah. S sorry. I, 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 hmm. I really wish. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 It, it just came back to me. Sorry, everybody. Okay. 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 So, I did, I did not, not know that I was going to be more of a master before we started the season. And we got there and we started reading through these episodes. And I think even through the first, um, yeah, the first two blocks. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I had no idea, idea. and then we, we got, got these. <laughs> then we got these scripts, and we did our. Ta we always do our table read first, and then we know what's happening, and then we're gonna go shoot it. And and I saw that I was gonna become a Mark Master, and this whole like Zordon thing as well. And I was just like, oh, this is this is gonna be um, a lot of pressure in a sense. Like there's like like what Hunter was saying. Like there's those are some big shoes to fill in that sense, but. Um, it was just an honor to be trusted with something like that and to, to have the opportunity to, to fill so many, to like wear so many different costumes, wear so many different helmets, wear, you know, these bright blue eye contacts, uh, fake contacts to like, to bring Zordon forth and somebody that I watched growing up. So yeah, it was, it was really cool. It was a really, really great experience. I'm sorry I didn't remember right off the top, but thank you for bearing with me. It was a lot. Uh, you, you mentioned uh, a really uh, kind of pointed moment uh, when you uh, got to channel Zordon. So what was your approach when uh, taking on that role? Thank you for that question, actually. Nobody has asked me that yet. Wow. And I've been, you know, kind of, kind of salty, but I'm like, why doesn't anyone ask me? Why doesn't anyone ask me? I worked really hard on that. Why doesn't anyone ask me? You're welcome. Thank you so much. Um, so... I immediately was like, I'm gonna start watching some Mighty Morphin Power Rangers again. So um, during my downtime, I was just like watching over and over. And there's not a lot to work off of um, because you know he's a he's a floating head in a in a tube. But there's you know there's not as much as far as mannerisms are concerned, but sort of like voice um, voice intonations and cadences um, and you know his. 
I don't know if anyone else has noticed. I don't, am I the only one that notices that his mouth doesn't move in sync with what he says? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But like, we all... <laughs> I don't know if you heard Rory, he said crude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that as a this. I'm just saying, like, I, I hope everybody else noticed that. I hope I'm not crazy. So, um, you know, that gave me the best to work with, in a sense. But I, I felt like going with... Just the presence. What what are those feelings that I feel when I'm when I'm a ranger being addressed by Zordon? What are those um, what are the things that he does that really like make me feel that way? So yeah, that was really the work that I put into it was just like trying to emulate it and, and bring him into a full form. And I also watched a few scenes from uh, the movie as well because that's Zordon with an entire a full body, right? That's the only time we ever see that. So. Just bringing all those different elements into it together, trying to put my own spin on it at the end of the day. And then also just trying to have some reverence for, you know, something that I know is beloved by all of all of us. So, yeah. yeah. That's amazing, man. Good answer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's only the number two answer. We're already going to see it. That was a good question. That was good. So, as we can kind of piggyback off of that a little bit, uh, your character, big video game player, a big uh, character like that, but as you grow throughout the series, I think one of the neat things was the relationship that your character had with his father on the show. And um, did, uh, as you played through those particular episodes and those, those scenes, did you draw off of anything as well? I was going to say uh, the same sort of what did you draw from scenario, and uh, that's basically it. Mayor Adams. Uh, Kevin is his real name. We work extensively trying to kind of capture this dynamic. Um, so he's from Ohio, but he's uh, he was born in Ohio and raised in there, but he's from Australia. And I think he, I want to say he has two sons, so he was familiar with that, um, you know, the father-son dynamic. My father, uh, my father, uh, we, um, excuse me. We worked really hard on the relationship. We didn't really have anything to go back on because we had good relationships. I have a good relationship with my father, and he has a good relationship with his sons. So it's like, okay, uh, you know, how do we kind of show we're, you know, indifferent or I'm indifferent towards him? And I kind of came with us coming up with a story about what happened to our mom. What, well, let that be kind of like the catalyst of our relationship. So it kind of started off what we came up with. Our mom, um, she passed away. It's funny. She passed away of uh, of cancer, and I was closer with my mom, and I kind of have her characteristics. She was the rebellious one. She used to play video games with me, and my dad, um, when she passed, got he took it very hard and became more of a strict parent, more of a disciplinarian. And so, and it had to be like two years or so. So that's where we started with the relationships, kind of where. We're on, um, you know, opposite sides of the, of the stick. So yeah, that's a little bit of our development. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's good, good, good. Yeah. Woo -hoo! Yeah. Shout out to Kevin. Yes. 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 Woo -hoo! Fantastic. Given an theme with that, I do want to take down to you, James, because your character was very uh, family oriented as well. Your father, uh, Mr. Hartford, uh, Andrew, right? Uh, but uh, your character totally different than most of the other Red Rangers being a robot, very unique, and that's not a spoiler, the show came out 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't watch Power Rangers Operation Overdrive, now let's admit it, not going to. But it was an amazing season, and, yeah, and your cast was so much fun, and uh, I loved getting to see you guys all work together. And I wanted to ask you, like, what was working with Andrew like, and uh, especially like Rod and everybody uh, in that dynamic, because most shows didn't have like a butler. They didn't have uh, the father son dynamic like well, Roy did, but not everyone did. Um, what was it like for you? What was your character's development like from your own perspective? Well, uh, mm, having a butler in real life made it easy, so. <laughs> <laughs> Being a that power range of money? That yeah, part was yeah. exactly. <laughs> no, I, you know, I was thinking when uh, one of these guys was talking about, um, I can't remember who it was now. There's so many of you. Um, <laughs> talking about how, when you learned what happened in your show, in your season, they didn't tell me that I was a robot, uh, and so I only found out maybe a, 
week or two weeks before, and it was like life imitating art. I was kind of furious and upset with Bruce Kalish, the producer and writer. I was like, Bruce, I thought it was a real boy. <laughs> How could you do this to me, Bruce? <laughs> And, uh, and so that was perfect, because that was my character's uh, reaction as well. And then he's like, just just stay with it, James. Like, it will all be good in the end. And it, it was, indeed, because I became a real boy. And, uh, and I was very happy about that. Woo! That's the first version of the season. I haven't seen it, so check it out. Very, very cool. That's awesome. Oh, yeah, we're, we got a WhatsApp group and we um, oh, we talk all the time. Good. Yeah. Good. Are you in there, Kelson, to kick you out of that? No, Kelson is not. It's a strict no Kelson group. <laughs> 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 so it's my, so it's my up here. I'll, I'll start a group. You can He's be. He's part of the Operation Overdrive. Oh! oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. I was going to sign his shoes. Oh, man. Let's, Let's bring, bring it back. back. I'll wait at the other side of the room. Give me Steve Curtis, everybody. The OG Boss Man, taking it all the way back, but we are so glad to have you back in the current echelon of Power Rangers with Ron Zellowski. Yes. Many of the times we don't talk about the new thing yet, because we haven't done too many events about it. You're back, though. You did the show. You did the thing. What was that environment like for you stepping back? Well, you know it's nostalgia for you guys, like, you know, when you guys think about Power Rangers and you come to these shows and stuff, well, that's what it was for us. I mean, imagine stepping into the juice bar when you haven't been there on the set in 27 years, you know? So, I mean, that was really cool, and to step onto that new command center, but it was all the old nostalgia was kind of like, I get it now. You guys have all that experience, you know, of getting the, meeting us and you have the nostalgia and stuff. So for us to get back together after not being on the camera for 20 some odd years it was it was very cool i really enjoyed it i'm glad you did yeah thanks for coming back yeah they really pieced that together in the cast of people. yeah and i think it was long overdue to do a tribute to trini as well too yeah, to tweet so you know yeah. so i was really happy to be part of all of that for sure yeah, yeah thanks for coming back for it yeah it's, it's pretty yeah. cool chris uh, jenny we don't have the handful of mics to get back to you <laughs> yeah uh we didn't know about the game of pass the mic tonight um <laughs> So, um, actually, uh, yeah, I was actually going to uh, uh, ask you about how uh, you developed the relationship uh, uh, with uh, your on-screen father. Like, how, what was uh, the process um, between that and, like, uh, and also uh, how's your relationship now versus then? My relationship with Rod? Lu Lucy yeah. Chiaka? Yes. I haven't spoken to Rod since the show ended, but we got on very well. He had a band who used to play uh, in the, on the weekends, and I would go and see his band. Uh, so we were great mates. Um, but he was a very sweet, sweet guy. So it was very easy to 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 love him, you know, and 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 admire him, and then be furious when I found out I was not a real boy. <laughs> I mean, there wasn't, I didn't need to do a huge, huge amount of prep, you know, if, if he'd been uh, an, an asshole, pardon my French, it would have been a lot of work, but it was very easy to, to love the guy like a dad. Yeah, yeah it's nice to have somebody to lean on when you find out you're a robot. Yeah. <laughs> or be angry at. Yeah. Like, the fact that you weren't eating or going to the bathroom didn't give it away? <laughs> Don't pull in that piece of string. <laughs> the whole thing will come apart. Right, right. Don't go down the rubber hole. Okay, got it. The fact that you can't peel or, or go to the bathroom with those suits, you know, like, yeah, it's, uh, well, that's, that's, that's the first question you ask. <laughs> can't or won't? I don't know. <laughs> All right, we've got about uh, we've got about ten minutes left. Uh, we can open it up to some audience questions. That was. Not the, the right, right accent. accent. We can open up some audience <laughs> questions if you guys would like. Let's <laughs> start right away. I, I know, I did it again. Here we go. What's up? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Hi guys, thank you for coming out and just being a representative for each of you season. I just love looking at you guys. It's so diverse. So thank you guys for coming back. You. So Brennan, <laughs> my question is for you. Um, 
Thank you for being the Red Ranger that put left-handed slash left-dominant people. Is anyone else left handed up here? Woo! No? Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're friends. So, my question to you is this um, Did they give you a hard time because. Um, in your season, did they give you a hard time because the original stunt guys all did their stunts right handed? So, was there an issue when they did the footage and then they brought you in? That's actually a really good question. I've never been asked that. Uh, no. So, I talked to Chip, our producer, about it in the beginning because I was like, hey, I'm left handed. Do I need to like make everything I do right handed? Because, again, the sense I footage. Um, he said no, just to stay left handed. So, I just made it that Tyler's ambidextrous. So, and I actually kind of am in real life too. Like, I am primarily left handed. But I fight like a right-hander, like if I, but I wrestle like a left. Like I, I really am. When you do your um, acrobat training and ropes and stuff, do you rely on the left side or the right side? Which way do you twist? Yeah, I twist to the left, but I'm better at one-arm handstands on my right. So I really am. Oh, I write with my left hand though. But I would sword fight with my left. But I would catch a ball with my right. But I also pitch with my right. Huh. So Same. anything that requires anything delicate, like needlework or writing, I'm right. Anything that requires prejudice and violence, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I got you. Okay. So like sports, for me was left-handed. Guitar, left-handed. The writing and me with my right. That's right. I'm kind of backwards with that, but that's yeah. yeah. No, super yeah. cool. Yeah. Thank you for representing. Thank you. Of course. Woo! Is anyone else left-handed? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, we see you. Yeah. The future. What about our righties? No, no. What about our righties? Woo! Woo! So, so uh, my question is mostly for um, for uh, Russell. So, sorry. Sorry, we're so, distracted to me. I'm so sorry. It's all good. It's all good. So, in your season, at the end of your story, you became a Morphin Master. Um, in your mind, just um, what is like like after Cosmic Fury, after everything's over, what is the day in a Morphin Master like? Because like supposedly the other five are just like chilling for sixty-five million years or something. Like what do you see? I guess going forward. That's such a good question, and. I can't say that I've given it too much thought, but my initial thought is that the Morphin Master sort of exists in another dimension, and time passes differently there. So, like, <coughs> like if you have such an important point to say, there's this frog in my throat. That's not fair. Like, if you watch Interstellar, and there's that, that moment where um, Matthew McConaughey is like looking through all of time, I feel like maybe that's kind of how the Morphin Masters exist, and then they just like pick their moments to like float through a portal and, and say what's up. Um, and, hello, you need our help. Um, yeah, so I think I, that's kind of how I imagine it, and that's kind of what I see when, in the very last shot when, you know, I'm hanging out in the morphing grid watching everybody have fun without me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I would think is happening. Thank you very much. question, though. Hi, guys. This one's for all of you. Um, if you could choose any other ranger season to be a red ranger in, what would it be? Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Cosmic Fury. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> wow. oh, it's, it's like you're making a deal on it. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's my stamp of approval. I like that. Very good. Right. Hunter Dino stamp of approval. I think I'd have to go SPD. I think SPD would be quite fun season to be a Red Ranger. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Woo! Uh, I guess I'll stick to the Dino theme and go Mighty Morphin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do the season of Novadrive. Oh. <laughs> I love it. Honestly, I guess since I'm like currently the last Red Ranger, I might as well be the first one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I I could only ever go with Mighty Morphin. That was yeah. that was my childhood. Yeah. That was OG. For sure. mm -hmm. yeah. 
is the question you'd be you'd be the other Red Ranger or like you'd be hanging out with that? Yeah. 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 Would you be replacing? The you replace yeah. him yeah. as the power as the Red Ranger. You replacing no. Steve? Oh, I, I don't want to replace anyone. You're all so special. You're absolutely. I replace Steve then. Yeah, I plan to delete myself, but like, you know. I do it uh, First, I really just want to say I'm really big fans. Power Rangers has meant a lot to me growing up, and I still watch it today in my classes. I have three times, though. I'm a good student, I promise. Um, but over the course of all these seasons, we've had some pretty iconic lines, and I want to know what your favorite that your character or another character has said. It's for all of you, by the way. Oh, wow. Right. So he said it, right? Uh, um, <laughs> well, what, what if we start with me and go down the line? Yeah, uh, I think you guys can think about them, because yeah. I don't mind. It'll give me a lot of time to think since yeah. it was 30 years ago. Let me <laughs> go, on, go on the Google, Steve. <laughs> Mine was, uh, I'm just human and I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Virus eliminated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That was the You're thing so I said. Awesome. How mad would you guys be if I didn't say cool, 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 yeah? <laughs> so mad! <laughs> would you be mad? Yes! Would you be mad? Yes! No. No. It's okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's cool, 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 yeah. Yeah! yeah. Woo. I feel like he's the only one out of our season that hacked something. Do you guys have a famous Amelia line you guys like? No, it's not really good. What? Ghost housing. Ghost housing. I know. So I laughed way too loud at his shirt. Sure. You had your face in your I don't... I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. <laughs> so I laughed way too loud at the... Sure, keep workshopping that when the bad guy was trying to, like, do a zinger at you. Well, then let's do that one. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to sing it for us? Yeah. Oh. You gotta sing it. Sure, keep working. Uh, Just like, keep no. workshopping. Yeah. <laughs> What was it? Sure, keep workshop that. Yeah, keep workshop. He tried to, he tried when to, did I say? <laughs> in the episode when the Dark Ranger shows up, the big team up morph. Yeah, the bad guy. Minutes the bad guy seconds. tries to say something <laughs> saying or like a zinger to you, but he tripped over his own. Did words. Red Ranger say it? Or yes, did, Amelia oh, said that's it. Why. Sure, keep workshopping that because he couldn't get his words out. <laughs> that's pretty oh. funny, actually. Yeah, that's true. Sure, keep then. working on that. I don't know. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, keep workshopping it. I can't even get it right. I'll and keep workshopping it. In Hunter's defense, when she recorded that, the line was right there. So she never had to memorize that. She never had to learn it. So. I got you back. That is entertaining. Um, for me, it's, uh, it's about to get wild. Um, for me, it wasn't a line where I was a Red Ranger. Um, it would be the uh, boom speech from Endings. I'm staying. Yeah, the, I'm yes. staying. Yeah, yeah Endings. Because oh. that's deep for yeah. me. Yeah, I'm, that. yeah. It's some of the, I think that some of the acting I'm the most proud of that I've done in my entire career. Mm -hmm. I love that. Oh, wow. um, Woo! But I also did, it, took, it took a while to come, so I do have to say, uh, Ninja Spin. Yeah. Yeah. So, I feel like, um, okay, there was a uh, a scene in the movie when we first came across Ivan Ooze, and he's boasting who he is, I'm the galactically feared, the globally reviled, they call me Ivan Ooze, and I said, well, pack your bags, because we're sending you right back where you came from. Yeah.